Hey guys, how are you doing today? I hope that you are doing amazing and fantastic and wonderful. I am because it is Friday. Not only is it Friday, but it's the last Friday that I have to work before winter break because winter break starts um, on Thursday morning. I still have to go to work on Wednesday. But that's okay, not too bad. I have a lot of reading ahead of me. But this video I am super, super excited about. So at the beginning of this year, I made a goal to myself and to you guys that I was going to read 52 cozy mysteries this year. And we are, what, halfway through December and I have made my goal which is super, super exciting. Like I could not be more excited about reaching my goal. So I'm gonna go through all 52 cozies. It's going to be um, a quick snapshot because you can always go back and look at my wrap ups to see how I felt about each individual one. So I'm going to name the book, the author, and the um, rating that I gave it on Goodreads. So these are not in any particular order. They're just in um, in order of one through 52. So I copied and made it on a spreadsheet because I'm totally a nerd. You guys can also look forward to seeing my most read authors of 2018, um, which would be coming out next week. And then you can also um, look forward to my highest rated cozies for the year of 2018. So. Without further ado, let's get started. The first one I have is a high-end finish by Kate Carlisle, and I rated that a five star. The next is A Potion to Die For by Heather Blake. I also rated that a five star. That was one of our um, books for the Cozy Mystery Book Club, as well as High-End Finish was one as well. The next one is A Sheet Cake Named Desire by Jacqueline Brady. I rated that a five stars. The next one is Souffle of Suspicion by Darley Wood Gerber, four stars. A Salt and Pepper, which is also a book club book by Leslie Budwitz, four stars. Blueberry Muffin Misfortune by Agatha Frost, which was rated a four stars. Then we have the most recent um, Cozy Mystery Book Club book, which is Candy Cane Murder. There were three short stories in it. I rated the first short story a four stars. I rated the second short story, I would say, probably a three stars, and then the last one a two star. Then I have Carnations and Chaos by London Lovett, and I rated that a four star. Castle on the Hill by Agatha Frost, four stars. Champagne and Catastrophes by Agatha Frost, five stars. Charms and Chocolates by Bailey Cates, four stars. Chocolate Chip Cookie Murder by Joanne Fluke, four stars. Cupcakes and Casualties by Agatha Frost, four stars. Dark Witch and Creamy by H.Y. Hannah, three stars. Dead in the Water by Agatha Frost, four stars. Death in the Park by London Lovett, three stars. Eclair and Present Danger by Laura Bradford, three stars. That was a Cozy Mystery Book Club book as well. First Degree Mutter by Kate Dyer Seely, five stars, which is also um, Ellie Alexander, in case you guys were wondering. Her Royal Spiness by Rise Bowen, two stars. That was also a book club book of the month. Ice Creams and Incident by Agatha Frost, five stars. <laughs> in Cave Danger by Kate Dyer Seely, five stars. Killer Bridal Party by London Lovett, three stars. Knit One Kill Two, my very first audiobook that was a cozy mystery by Maggie Sefton, four stars. I really want to start that series, like continue with it. Lending a Paw by Lori Katz, three stars, a book club book. Marigolds and Murder by London Lovett, four stars. Mayhem at the Orient Express by Kylie Logan, four stars. Mistletoe and Mayhem by London Lovett, four stars. Murder in the Locked Library by Ellery Adams, five stars. That was also a book club book, by the way. Murder in the Mystery Suite by Ellery Adams, five stars. Murder in the Paperback Parlor by Ellery Adams, um, five stars. You can see I had an Ellery Adams kick. Murder in the Secret Garden by Ellery Adams, four stars. Natural Thorn Killer by Kate Dyer Seeley, five stars. On What Grounds by Cleo Coyle, another book club book, four stars. Peach Pies and Alibis, Ellery Adams, five stars. Pecan Pies and Homicide, Ellery Adams, four stars. 
Pies and Prejudice by Ellery Adams, four stars. Pumpkin Smoothie Murder by Anna Lakewood, two stars. Rusty Murder Gentlemen by Vicki Delaney, three stars, and a cozy mystery book club book. Roses and Revenge by London Lovett, four stars. Scene of the Climb by Kate Dyer Seeley, five stars. Scone Cold Killer by Lena Gregory, four stars. Silenced in the Surf by Kate Dyer Seeley, five stars. Slate on the Slopes by Kate Dyer Seeley, five stars. Some Enchanted Eclair by Bailey Cates, four stars. Stroke of Death by Agatha Frost, three stars. The Case of the Golden Slipper by Melinda Metz, three stars. That was a reread from my childhood favorite cos er, mystery, The Adventures of Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen. Pint of No Return by Ellie Alexander, five stars. The Skeleton Paints a Picture by Lee Perry, four stars. Till Death Do Us Tart by Ellie Alexander, five stars. Tidal Wave by Lorna Barrett, that is also five stars. Trouble is Brewing by Ellie Alexander, five stars. And last but certainly not least, Violet Tendencies by Kate Dyer Seeley, five stars. So that is the end of my 52 cozy mystery goal for 2018. I think I rocked it. Now do I think I'm going to read more cozies than just 52, especially since I've got winter break coming on? I totally do. But I think that, you know what? I wanted to just showcase these 52 that I did read, that I am kicking butt in, and that I was just super, super excited to share with you guys. So how many of the books did I read that you have read or you enjoyed or maybe you're excited about? What are your favorite? It doesn't have to be just mysteries, it could be fantasy or sci-fi or whatever it is. Just let me know. I wanna know what you loved reading this year. What was your absolute favorite? That's the end of this chapter of Court Tagonist. Please give my video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, guys, happy reading. Bye.